Science. Grass or other feed goes in one end, methane comes out the other. It's not the cow's fault per se, but methane as a greenhouse gas is far more potent than carbon dioxide. That's why scientists on this research farm in Western Wales are looking at ways to eliminate methane, gone with the wind, so to speak. Full-grown dairy cow has a rumen, that's a digestive tract, so about the size of a wheelie bin, OK? Full of microbial cells, and it's those microbes that produce the methane. We investigate how different additives affect that microbial population, trying to get a population that produces less methane. Near the pastures, the laboratories resemble a veritable Merlin's lair, lined with plant extracts, essential oils and fats. It's all aimed at taking the fart out of farm animals. And hey presto, they found garlic would do it. The methane menace just doesn't stand a chance against the stuff. We've discovered that there's a compound in garlic that's actually selectively toxic to those methane-producing bacteria. So when you feed the garlic, the rest of the fermentation continues on quite happily, but the methane-producing bacteria are killed. Garlic mixed together with animal feed and other stomach contents, just like in a cow, is left to percolate, like coffee on a hob, or maybe not, for 24 hours. The chemical reactions are then tested for methane and the garlic chops off 40%. Methane emissions currently contribute to approximately 18% of global greenhouse gas production. So reductions in methane emissions from agriculture would be substantial and would help um, curtail global warming. Based on their research, the Aberystwyth University Farm Lab believe a product that will reduce methane emissions from livestock could be commercially available within the next three years. At the company Neem Biotech, engineering the Alicin garlic solution, they're also optimistic. We are looking at supplying 25% of the UK uh, herd. We were estimated it would require something like 5,500 tonnes of garlic a year. So it's a big, could be very, very big business. Now, if you like garlicky milk and cheese, you're lucky. Can't have your cake and eat it too. The only problem with allicin, which came out in some of the later trials we did, is in fact that it tends to taint the milk, which is not very good. And as we're now looking at other garlic metabolites with the same sort of activity, but without the downside. So uh, one with greater stability and one with less taint for the milk. The scientists are also experimenting on sheep and other livestock. The university has been running these tests for nearly three years. They've spent more than five million euros on methane detective work. We work on the genetics of the animals, trying to understand can we breed animals that produce less greenhouse gases. We work on the nutrition. We work for colleagues who are plant breeders to try and generate new grasses that will produce less greenhouse gas from the animals. The animals pent up here in Wales are themselves unwitting allies in the fight against global flatulence and warming, each contributing in its own way, cloven hoof paired with clove of garlic. <laughs>